Hey guys, welcome into this very special edition of uh, Tony Rose 101 here at the uh, D93 Studios. Very special uh, D93 digital broadcast today. Uh, coming up this weekend in Bowling Green, it's the 2018 Vet City Con. Huge event happening out at the National Corvette Museum, and we are joined by our friends from Vet City Con, Michael Everton. What's up, Michael? How you doing, buddy? Good How's to see doing, you, man. Thanks for having us on here. Yeah, thanks for coming by today. And of course, uh, I know you guys have to be fired up. This is the second annual Vet City Con coming up this Saturday and Sunday, National Corvette Museum. Um, what made you guys, uh, I know a lot of hard work, a lot of effort going into this for two years now. What made you guys want to do this? Being fans of uh, this kind of stuff and spending our life savings on it for the last <laughs> 30 or 40 years. Now you guys have had a chance to, to meet a lot of um, cool people through this process and we're gonna talk about this incredible lineup of celebrities that are coming to Bowling Green this weekend at the National Corvette Museum. I'm gonna tell you all about it here in the next few minutes, but who are some of who are some of the folks that, that you guys enjoy, that grew up, that made you, you know, get sucked into almost to this world of not only horror movies, but science fiction, comic books. Who are some of the folks that you guys liked growing up? Well, I, I grew up watching 70s TV shows and stuff like that. So, yeah. you know, Lee Majors, Six Million Dollar Man, that kind yeah. of stuff. Yeah, so uh, so here we are heading into the 2018 Vet City Con happening out at the National Corvette Museum this weekend, uh, January 27th and 28th. Uh, VetCityCon.com for more information. We got the website here for you as well. Let's talk about this lineup. Uh, I know after last year, the success you guys had with the very first Vet City Con, you want it to bring it back bigger and better than ever. I think that mission is going to be accomplished this year with this incredible lineup that you guys have for folks. Yeah, this year we're bringing Tony Moran from Halloween franchise. He played Michael Myers in the original Halloween series in yeah. 78, I guess. Wow, yeah. Because yeah, we're yeah. the 40th year anniversary this year. And, of course, uh, with uh, with that being said, of course, you've also got uh, into, uh, you talk about Tony Moran. You talk about Michael Myers. Uh, you talk about the fact that, yeah, this is the person that we associate as Michael Myers. This is really cool to have that guy with the mask, the whole nine yards here in Bowling Green for this whole weekend, and the chance for folks to, to go up and, and, and meet and greet and talk to the guy, right? Yeah, and talk with him, yeah. And, and these guys, they have great, you know, stories they can tell you about, you know, when they're on the sets and different things yeah. that you don't really see so much on the, the IMDB, you know, database, yeah. there, you know. So it's, it's really neat to get the one-on-one -on -one time with these guys. Uh, I know Friday the 13th is something uh, that you're into, Chad's into as well with Bet City Con, uh, Jason Voorhees, of course. Probably, if you look on the Mount Rushmore of horror movie celebrities out there, you've got to put, you know, guys like Michael Myers and a guy like Jason Voorhees on there. And a lot of people, not only say forget about it, but the original Jason didn't wear a mask. No, Ari Lehman didn't. He was just the boy in the lake at the very yeah. end of the movie, you know. And of course, uh, then after that, the first grown-up version of Jason, Steve Dash. Steve Dash. Wore the burlap bag. And Steve Dash is going to be in Bowling Green this weekend, right? For Vet City Con, yeah. We're yeah. fortunate to have him on board with us. Do you know the original, with the original Friday the 13th as well, when Victor Miller wrote that, they, he wasn't planning on it to be a franchise. It was going wow. to be based on just the mother with serial killer and that was it. Right. And, and from and there... It blew up after that. From there, one of the most iconic horror movie characters is, is more out of that lake, Camp Crystal Lake right there. Uh, but Steve Dash, though, the original, I say the original, but the first grown-up version of Jason uh, will be in Bowling Green this weekend. Machete in hand, burlap bag in hand as well, and he's a really fun guy. We've had a chance to, to meet him over the years. Really, really fun guy. Uh, if horror movies aren't your thing, uh, which, which, by the way, there's, we're going to talk about some of the other great horror movie stars there, but if uh, horror movies aren't your thing, uh, maybe 70s TV shows are. And uh, you guys have probably two of the cast members from... One of the most popular TV shows ever made in Bowling Green this weekend as well. Tell us for the, something for the Brady Bunch fans out there. Yep, Cindy and Bobby Brady from the Brady Bunch will be here this weekend for Vet City Con. That's uh, Susan Olsen and Mike Lookinland right there for the folks, um, the original two there. Uh, why did you guys decide to go with um, uh, a TV show like that? How, how did that come across the plate this year? Because a lot of times people think of these conventions, they only think of the science fiction and the horror movie stars. What kind of attracted you guys to bringing in some, some TV stars from the 70s? We try, and, we try to get this thing together, the show-wise, to have a platform that covers a lot of different genres, and we're trying yeah. to get that, uh, that 70s pop culture in there as well with yeah. it. So, um, a lot of these guys, you know, that like me and you grew up watching that kind of stuff, it, you yeah. know, it's the nostalgia of your childhood coming back at you. You want to yeah. meet those guys and 
have Gosh. questions with them and stuff, you know? I wonder how tired they get of hearing the Brady Bunch song, though. You know, you got to figure they, that. I'd say they get pretty tired of it. <laughs> uh, and, of course, uh, they're going to hear it this weekend at Bowling Green, but if you're a Brady Bunch fan as well. Vet City Con happening out at the National Corvette Museum. Uh, get your tickets now, vetcitycon.com for more information. You can go online. Uh, ticket prices, very, very affordable. What are those ticket prices if folks want to head out this weekend and check out everything? $25 for the whole weekend yeah. for both days or $15 a day? 25 though, uh, for the entire weekend is, is a great deal. You've got a chance to get out there. You've got a chance to uh, see all of these stars from your favorite TV shows, from your favorite movies. And of course, get some collectibles in there as well. Coming up after the break, I want to I want to talk more about that side of Vet City Com because a lot of people want to get out there and, and add to that collection. I want to talk through some of that stuff. I know that's an area you know a lot about, and some of the great booth vendors out there, some of our great sponsors. But don't forget, folks, Vet City Con is coming up this weekend. National Corvette Museum here in Bowling Green, twenty-five dollar weekend passes. It's just that easy. Twenty-five bucks gets you out there the entire weekend. Parking doesn't cost you a dime as well. If you go to conventions like this in Chicago, LA, Nashville, Louisville, Lexington, you're going to spend minimum three, four, five hundred dollars before you get back home safe and sound. Here, you don't have to worry about renting a hotel, you don't have to worry about parking. You can take the whole family to it and you can come back, come and go as you please, too. There's lots of options there with it being a two day convention right here in Bowling Green. It's Vet City Con. You can find out more online at vetcitycon.com. Coming up after this, we're going to talk more about the other side of Vet City Con, the great vendors, the booths, the great sponsors, and what else to expect this year at the 2018 Vet City Con coming up this weekend at the National Corvette Museum in Bowling Green, right here with this very special Vet City Con digital broadcast. Coming up more next. Don't forget your headboards, pillows, and your sheets. We got everything you need for a good night's sleep. Number one on the same check, best of Molin Green. All right, all right, all right. Hey! Ooh. Twins, fool, queen and king, mattresses for anything. Come and pick it out and we can bring it to your house. Have you sleeping real good before the weekend's out. Trim bed, trim bed, trim bed, trim bed. It's just like, it's just like a mattress store, a mattress store. Trim bed. Hi, Jenny here from your local Big Deal store. Have you checked this place out yet? We've got gift certificates from dozens of local businesses, all sale priced. I'm talking restaurants, entertainment, car care, and items for your home. And you can shop 24 hours a day from the convenience of your home or from your smartphone. Big Deals, we're kind of a big deal. We're back here on this very special digital broadcast previewing the 2018 Vet City Con happening at the National Corvette Museum here in Bowling Green this Saturday and Sunday. We want to see you guys out there to be part of this incredible event. Uh, Tony Rose here along with uh, Mike Etherton. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Good, man. I get that name that always tricks my tongue when I say it. Etherton. Get it a lot. I like it. Eater tongue. Other tongue. <laughs> For a Neither horror tongue. movie guy, I was going to say that that works really good. Uh, we gave you the lineup a second ago. Just a few just a few of the incredible uh, science fiction TV star, horror movie uh, stars that are gonna be there. We'll give you the complete lineup here in just a minute as well, uh, but you're gonna love it. But on the other side of that too, a lot of people come to Vet City Con for that unique collectible item. And the booths at Vet City Con are amazing. Dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of vendors and booths and great sponsors. Kind of walk us through the showroom floor, if you will, of Vet City Con this weekend? Well, you're going to have a lot of, like you said, the toy collector guys that are there, um, comic book collector guys that are there. Maybe there are some old Hammer style mo movie posters or something somebody collects are going to be there. And then you're going to have the guys that are like um, sculptors, 
that will be there selling products that they make. There's uh, special effects guys that will be there selling things that they make. Right. Um, artists, illustrators, a lot of these guys have worked with DC Comics and Marvel Comics and yeah. Dark Horse Comics. Right. And you'll be able to meet all those guys there too and they'll have stuff really, you know, you can buy prints right from them or original straight from them right there at the show. That's what's so fun about Vet City Con, of course, you know, I'm a Transformers collector. I love getting the original 1980s Transformers and there's always folks that are selling those. It's just fun. It's fun to talk to these people and you really end up sharing memories from your childhood or your past and really building new memories with your family as well. And speaking of families, family friendly event, you know, just sometimes you hear about some of the scary movie characters, which actually here's, you, you, you guys know this, but a lot of these guys who play the scariest of the villains in movies are some of the nicest guys to ever sit down and talk to you'll ever meet. Oh yeah. You know, and, and of course they're all going to be there and of course for the, you to meet them, but uh, also too, uh, a chance for you to maybe break out that costume you've been saving up and, and uh, wear that costume to this event too. And you may even make some money off that costume at this really? event because we're having a costume we're having a costume contest right now. Really? Now, now, now explain how the costume contest works for everybody out there. We're going to have uh, four different judges for it, I think, this year. Yeah. That's going to handle it. And they'll have different catalog, you know, categories and stuff set up for yeah. it. But we've got $250 in cash we're giving out. And Very nice. I'd say probably 250 to $500 in vendor prizes and stuff that will be given out as well. Incredible stuff. Also, a kid's costume contest, so make sure you bring the kids out. You're looking for a reason to wear that Halloween costume again? Come out to Vet City Con this weekend. And Dress take up advantage. as Tony Rose. That would be a con. That would that would be like the uh, Michael Myers outfit, I believe, right there at that point. You know. So, by the way, for the folks who don't know, the Michael Myers mask, right? William Shackner. Yep. See, every now and then. Who now. lives in Kentucky? There you go. In Lexington. We're tying it all together. <laughs> Vet City Con this weekend happening in Bowling Green. Twenty-five dollar weekend passes, fifteen dollar day passes, free parking, family friendly event right off exit 28 at the National Corvette Museum. Real quick before we wrap this up today, give me that entire lineup again. We talked about Tony Moran, we talked about Steve Dash, we talked about the Brady Bunch kids, uh, Susan Olsen and Mike Looking Land, but give me some of these other stars that are gonna be here in Bowling Green this weekend. John Dugan from the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and yeah. he also was grandfather in uh, the Texas 3D. Really? Texas Chainsaw 3D recently. Yeah, of course, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, a little known fact. Matthew McConaughey, Renee Zellweger, some of their earlier roles were in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre series. And I know... Dude, he played a cop in, the, in that one. Yeah, he's got some stories from young Matthew McConaughey that he'll share with you this oh, weekend, yeah. for sure. Uh, give me a few more of the stars that are going to be there, some of the folks that I know you're excited to meet as one of the presenters of this event, but you know fans will love to talk to as well. WWF superstar Hillbilly Jim, local guy here, is going to be here. He does yeah. not do a lot of these conventions, so that's awesome that he's going to be able to come out and meet and greet fam you know, friends and, yeah. and fans of the... Of, of, his, of his work, yeah, and of course, uh, most recently on the WWE Network, uh, Legends House, and of course, uh, he'll be with WrestleMania season here for the WWE. I know he's got some great WWE stories to tell as well. The lineup is full, folks. If you see these cards around town, these posters hanging up, make sure you stop and check it out. But again, you're going to see stars uh, across the board uh, that you will never have a chance to maybe meet in person. Here's your chance to meet them in person this weekend in Bowling Green. It's the 2018 Vet City Con. Get your tickets now, vetcitycon.com. That's vetcitycon.com. And uh, get out there. What are the hours this weekend? 10 to 5 on Saturday and 10 to 3 on Sunday. So there you go. Get out there. Be part of it. Support events like this in Southern Kentucky so that they continue to come back. Vet City Con 2018, D93, proud to be part of this event along with the Tony Rose Morning Show and so many other great folks out there. So get out there, be part of it. Real quick, who are some of the folks helping you guys out with this event this year? Uh, we'll get we the have sponsors in there. Let's see, Game Exchange of Bowling Green, yep. the Entertainment Shack of Glasgow, yep. the Hampton Inn, which they're still running great deals if you're traveling from out of town, $79 a night to stay over there. Wow. Clean rooms, great staff. Yep. And uh, of course, uh, you know, so Average Joe's more. Entertainment. Average Joe's, Yellowberry in there as well. Yellow a lot Bear. of great folks helping out with this event. Find out more at vetcitycon.com. Check it out. We want to see you guys out there this weekend at the National Corvette Museum, the 2018 Vet City Con. Be part of it, everybody. Support events like this in Southern Kentucky, vetcitycon.com for more information. We'll see you at the con this weekend.